Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pisnik64, and um, Trademark629 just made a video about the elements of pro wrestling. I'm going to make a little response to that. Now, um, my elements of pro wrestling, to, to make a great match, is kind of similar to his, but this is what I think should be a great match. The difference between... Now, his all-time favorite match is Undertaker, HBK, at Bad Blood 97. Mine's HBK Taker from WrestleMania 26. Now, the difference between WrestleMania 25 WrestleMania 26... WrestleMania 25 was a better wrestling match. If you want just a regular wrestling match... No, that's a great wrestling match. But if you want a great overall match... WrestleMania 26... And let me tell you why. WrestleMania 26 had uh, the wrestling, obviously. Great wrestling. Build-up. You gotta have a good build-up. Build-up was great. Build-up was, was going on since, like, what, December? Or October or December? Something like that? I don't know. Been going on for a while. So you gotta build up the promo. So promos, wrestling, storytelling during the match. Undertaker hurt his leg. Now... I guess you can consider HBK a heel, I guess. They're both kind of tweeners. So, you gotta have good storytelling during the match. And you just have to have the emotion in the match. A, a, a streak versus career match. You know, same with um, HBK, Ric Flair from 24. Same thing, it had the same four philosophies. I think you have to have those four and equal. You can't have 80% wrestling, 5% of everything else. You have to have 25, 25, 25, 25 to make a 5-star match. Look at um, HBK or er, Triple H Taker from this year. Wrestling was kind of off. I'll have to give it that. So maybe it was like maybe 20% wrestling. Promos were good. Build-up was good. Storytelling was great. Probably the best thing. Come on, storytelling. Um, it was great. And then you had that emotion, just overall emotion when Taker got tombstoned by Triple H. I mean, you just, you have to have those emotions. Now, he talked about The Rock. Um, he said he was excited to see The Rock. Now, he said that the Miz and our truth uh, we're not, um, you know, should not be main event level. Now, think about it, trademark, and think about who else is watching this video. When John Cena has to go to The Rock, technically, you're putting uh, Miz and Our Truth over. You're saying you have to get the best of the best. You, you can, that nobody in the WWE roster could stop Miz and Our Truth. That's what it's saying. That's what I'm getting out of this. That you have to get the Miz, or you have to get the Rock. Could have got Stone Cold or Undertaker or like Shawn Michaels or like, you know, not somebody who's like super old, but somebody who's like a legend. Like, you know, even like a Chris Jericho in there. You had to get somebody like that to stop the Miz and our truth. Which. If we recall, John Cena has beaten both of them by himself. But together, it's like John Cena can't stop him. So he has to get the rock. So think about it that way. Think about it in terms of putting people over. You're saying... You're really saying that you have to get the rock to stop them is not true. Now, they might not be the best, you know in-ring workers. But if you think about it, think about it from a storytelling standpoint... Just think about it that way. I just want to make a quick little response. Um, link in the description about Trademark's video. Well, mine's probably going to be a video response to it. This is my video response to Trademark69. He has very great points. I just wanted to do my perspective. It might be the same thing as his, but might not be a little different. But I think you have to have the four philosophies to make a five-star match. I think if they're all equally developed... You look at The Rock and Austin had the four philosophies. This is my four philosophies. 
of how to make a five star match. And it doesn't have to be in WWE. It could be in TNA. It could be in ROH. It could be in PWG. It could be in any promotion. But that's all I have to say. I hope you like this video. Comment down below what you think. I will discuss it with you. Um, I really want your feedback on this. Maybe what's your philosophy? What's your theories of how to make a five-star match? I'm out. Peace.